first game, and they'll face Brittany Hawk, who also played in the first game. Brittany Hook uh, will start this game after finishing the last, so we'll see if she's handled more as an opener or not, but she pitched two-thirds of an inning, the walk, and two runs scored, and she swings and lifts one into left center field. That's going to fall in for a hit. Adams chugging towards second, and she'll be in with a stand-up double to lead off game two. Keep her hitless here. With the leadoff runner on at second, and she lines one past the third baseman, Hartman, down to the corner for rather swear engine, and that will score Adams, who comes around on. Hook delivers, and Eccles hits one deep to straightaway center field. This one over the head of Bruni and up against the fence. Lindemann will score easily. Chugging to third is Eccles. Here's the relay, not in time. Double, double, and triple for the Gators to start the first inning. And you see all of their, their fifth years and um, also brought on new girls. So it is going to be interesting to see what that looks like. Yeah, it's a big roster in that one. Swear engine coming in tight from third. Keen from first. Trying to cut off the runner. Ball gets past the catcher. And here comes Eccles to score. It'll go as a wild pitch and three runs in the first. As much as anything. They're just knocking it down. And now this one hits off the knee of Goddard. So down the first she goes. Most career walks in Florida history. What a player she was. Bouncing ball to third. Swearingen across the diamond for out number two. I just think these athletes are very lucky. Well, and particularly for the freshmen. She's a little closer to their age, and she speaks Tim Walton's language so she can maybe a little dribbler or a pop-up you know sometimes slappers just put the ball on the ground and, and pop it up but she will will be asking here this weekend how good are we that ball is high and outside ball four and Piero aboard with a walk swings and misses two strikeouts for Hightower here in the first inning thus far that inside pitch is games canceled or a series that needs to be changed. This one bounced off. Piero gathers it, but can't make a throw. So Longley is aboard with an infield single. Duff. And a lot of these coaches, of course, have relationships. They've coached against one another. Some have coached with one another over the years. This one misses outside, and Lindsay aboard with a walk. The runners at first and second, and nobody out. Starting battery here. This one, one hop by Keene at first. Underhands nicely to Piero covering for the out. That um, and then right after you have Eccles, so it's Lined off the shortstop's strong. glove into short center. One run is in and they'll hold the runner at third, Lindsay. So Lindemann, two at bats in two innings and put out all night. Lifts one high and deep to center field. She still hasn't been put out. Home run, Charla Eccles has started the season on a tear. It's a three-run home run, and the Gators lead it seven to nothing. Unbelievable. She is just on fire, and she's, at this point, just getting her team so... And they go there every year to California, and they're not able to do that this year. This one bounced to second, picked up by Piero, who throws tournaments. There may be one or two sprinkled in here, but not as many as you might before. Ground ball to short, scooped up by Rivera. Strong throw across, and that's the inning. And this one lifted softly to short. Keen out on a right-hander, and we'll see if this bodes any better. Nope, hit her. So another base runner, but still. The Bulls have not put the ball in play against Hightower. Now batting right fielder, number 44, Riley Gore. Riley Gore coming up there. Hightower can put up some strikeout numbers as Gore puts one in the air to center field. Cheyenne Lindsay going back to make the catch. And then it's like you almost lose her arm for a second. This one squibbed into right field for a hit. There's the first base hit of the ball. He wins ball games. Here's Alexis Johns who pops one up on the infield. 
And it is the shortstop, Sarah Longley, there to make the catch. And that's the inning, so no runs on one hit. The Bulls leave two. After season was canceled. And she hits one between third and short. And there's her first hit of 20. The Florida Gatorade Player of the Year last year in high school. And she lines one to right. Hit like a bullet. Here's Hoover stopping at third on the hard hit single to right by Avery Gels. And just them playing for fast pitch U. Throw down to second, throw back home. Hoover's got it. And on to third goes Gels. So there's one of those games. Longley hits one high in the air, deep to right field. Gore going back to the warning track, reaches up and makes the catch. Gels tags, and she comes home. She swings and hits one high in the air, deep to right center. This one is gone. So after a bunt in the box called back, Cheyenne Lindsay goes yard, and it's 10-0 Gators. Who needs a bunt, Cole, when you can put it over the fence? And that goes to show you. Goes the other way with one, hits it in the air to left. John's working her way over toward the corner, makes the catch. Two away after the fly ball to left. Some team camaraderie when you couldn't be together as Kistler walks. Right, because for these freshmen, they're just coming onto this team, and, and then you don't really get to experience as a team. Um, and I... I think they can't wait for this year and what it brings. Did Eccles do it again? She did. Down the right field line. She's going to hang on with a single as Kistler goes first to third. We're being 10-0. You know, these girls aren't letting up. They're going to get their reps. Swing and a miss at a changeup, and ball was dropped. So throw to first to complete the strikeout. And that's the inning, but more fireworks for from the Gators. The Gators. The Three more Three runs, including he struck out. In the first inning, two for three in the first game of the doubleheader. She's going to try to bunt her way on with that speed. Quick throw to first by Eccles. And she's doing it at the plate. Piero got the start at second base in this second game of the doubleheader. Didn't see action in the first and swings and misses there. So two away. And the nightcap have jumped out to a 10-zip lead. This one looped down the right field line, coming over to make the play on it, Bailey Goddard. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Hightower, who is cruising. <laughs> Not sure that's the best way to ingratiate yourself as a freshman. That'll do it, though. A walk. Get on base to start the fourth. You know what? And a great about. Foul him off. First, so USF won't play a team outside of the state of Florida for quite a while. This one popped softly to short. Rivera there. To grab it, one away. They will not. Here's Avery Gels. Hits one high in the air to left center field. This one carrying. John's going back and can't handle it. Here's Wilkie around third. She's going to put on the brakes right there on the double by Avery Gels. Looked like John's got. And a little soft popper behind the bag at third. Swear engine's there. Two infield pop-outs here in the inning. You know what, but a, a great pick. With no damage, the Gators have scored in every inning. Three in the first, four in the second, three in the third. And this one over the head of the catcher, Foreman, but the runners don't advance on the walk. I believe we have an... A year ago, maybe a year ago Monday, she had a walk-off hit for the Gators and a win. And here she may clear the bases. Two runs in. And here comes a third home to score. It's a bases clearing double for much. <laughs> Other than that. She hammers one right to the first baseman caught by Keen. UNF. Oh, there's the other dogs. There Highlighting what's really important yeah. tonight. We've finally gotten down to it. Swing and a miss by Epperson. Throw to first to complete the strikeout. One away here in the fourth. Something like 18 straight wins for Florida over USF in softball. This is a swing and a miss, and another throw down to first to complete the strikeout. Hightower. Throw 
really all about trying to put the constituent parts together on a ball hit down the left field line. Hoover's got it. It's a 1-2-3 inning. 3-2 pitch from Kopko. Down and away, and now she has walked. She's gotten on base every way except uh, catcher's interference and a hit by pitch at this point. And, I mean, a good at bat on base multiple pitchers that can accomplish the same goals should make you more confident in your lineup. This one hit fairly well to left, but backing up is Johns to make the play. The roster than Florida at this point and plunked right between the one and the eight on the back is Wilkie. Right between the shoulder blades. Now runners at first. And, and when these girls do it and they do it well, it just is another element. And Gels drives home a run with a single to the left. So her first at bat. Bounce toward the second baseman. Second for one. No chance at a double play. A run scores as Wilkie comes home. It'll get a lot easier, but I, I think you're right. I think there's just a little bit of disconnect that she has to work through. We were looking at her delivery a little bit earlier, and I said, hey, this kind of looks like a classic fast pitch softball delivery. But it's still not quite th in sync right now. No, I think her snap is off. Um, and you know, that's hard mentally is what like I said before with these girls, you can't, you know, throw it over the plate for a strike. You've got to hit those corners. This one line to the first baseman, Keene, who makes the catch, and that ends the inning. We head to the... Tech's going to come in with that lefty spin. She's going to utilize The bouncer her off the ball. pitcher's glove, gathered in by Adams, who throws her out. 2-2, Two -two, got her swinging. Strikeout for Trilicek, getting hard grade. Kelly Barnhill, one of only four freshman pitchers to throw a no-hitter. Barnhill... Delaney Gorley and Lindsey Littlejohn. This is bunted right at the third baseman and handled easily there. And a 15-0 ball game. And the mercy rule going to be put in place here after Ladies five innings. Your final score. So